I was hearing things. I know. You're not hurt, Agent. Command should not have left us to be surrounded. Risk is part of the job. I think you lucked out this time. Agent Navarra and I were ready to go in, but for no reason they said pull back. I do not retreat. Please give me a weapon and move on to the end. First thing is to get you out of here. I'll handle the enemy. Excuse that I have forgotten your brother Paul Denton and the infinite power of nano augmentation. I just can't spare any arms. Please retreat to a safe location. Go ahead. Advance up the stairs to the command center at the top. I will take my rusty metal bones and sweep away into the junk pile. Now I see the reason for the pullback. They wanted to show off their new nano augmentation technology. I cannot interfere with your demonstration. Go ahead, put on a show for the bureaucrats. Enjoy yourself. Soon they will be tired of their new toy. I cannot interfere with your demonstration.
Did I find the shipment? Yeah, we got the whole thing. Surrender. So you think you know better than FEMA what to do with this month's Ambrosia shipment? You're too late. It's on its way back to the people, and you can't do a damn thing about it. Tell me about the shipment, and I'll order the troops to pick you up as a prisoner instead of a corpse. Ask away. We already won this round. Where are you taking it? We're just giving ordinary people the same chance to survive as the bureaucrats in Washington. You'll have to unload New York because the choppers would spot you at sea. I think the government made the plague on purpose to get rid of the population growth. Well done. I will pass on your orders to the troopers. Report back to base on the west side of the island. Mission complete. The chief finally let us loose. We were right behind you and cut through them like a hot knife through butter. I'll take it from here. Good work, Agent. We're gonna lock this guy away for a long time. Just answer the question. Don't believe me? It's all in the numbers. For a hundred years, there's been a conspiracy of plutocrats against ordinary people. Do you have a single fact to back that up? Number one, in 1945, corporations paid 50% of federal taxes. Now they pay about 5%. Number two, in 1900, 90% of Americans were self-employed. Now it's about 2%. So? It's called consolidation. Strengthen governments and corporations, weaken individuals. With taxes, this can be done imperceptibly over time. I guarantee you that the interrogation staff at UNACO will not be as forbearing as I am. Yeah, the secret police. You're just bullies for a completely illegitimate government in Washington. We will locate that shipment one way or another. The entire executive branch is hand-picked. Nineteen of the last 23 U.S. presidents have been members of the Trilateral Commission. The Trilateral Commission is financed by the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds. Don't tell me. That's a think tank. Anyone can become a member. But not everyone does. That's why they call it the secret government. You can't fight ideas with bullets. Did you ever ask what it's for? The surveillance? The police? The shoot on sight laws? Is that freedom? Your NATCO teaches teenagers to fight when it still seems like a game. And look at you. You're a killing machine. Who's the scary one, huh? Me or you? The more of us you kill, the more that secessionism lives in the hearts of the people. Ever wonder why big car companies pay 2% tax while the guys on the assembly line pay 40? Corporations are so big you don't even know who you're working for. That's terror. Terror built into the system. Who's the scary one, huh? What the hell? That's over the line. What did I just tell you? We won already. Report back to base. The chief finally let us loose. We were right behind you and cut through them like a hot knife through butter. 
clean up the mess. That's exactly right. Give them a taste of their own medicine. I shot a couple myself. I'll clean up the mess. sent us in to pick up the pieces. We've already searched the bodies and delivered the enemy munitions to the quartermaster. Don't worry about the bodies. We'll handle the cleanup. I'm glad you had the guts to take out the commander. You got the right idea. Cap the bastards before the lawyers get involved. <laughs> 